It would give me a foothold against Milan over here, so I might do that. Yes, we will not surrender. Let's get rid of this Milanese yes, navy. Closing to engage, my lord. So blockade that port for the moment. Alamo, not oh, done that. Rhodes, build that. Bologna. Build that. Yes, Send this general there. Uh, Prague. Um, could build a bombard, but I kind of need to get the economy going over here. So we'll build farms. Oh crap! That's not what I wanted to do. I pressed the wrong button. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just fight these uh, these guys here. They're attacking us, so. As long as we try and find some high ground, which is at the back here, we should be okay. Oh crap, they're over there. Right, let's spread these guys out. There. Dun, 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 dun. What's the point of standing there, mate? You're the one attacking me here. It appears we have reached to a stalemate. I'm not attacking them up that hill. Uh, I'm not stupid. I'd rather retreat than attack up that hill. Save me 300 men. Nearly. Yeah, screw that. I'm not freaking attacking them up that hill. They forget it. I'm not going to exit the game though, I'm not going to quit the battle through this menu because that will mean I automatically lose and it will take casualties into account. So if I retreat this way, don't lose any men and my army falls back. My so Lord, this is the safest way. Defeat is nothing. We fought like true men. Didn't fight Next at all mate. 267 versus 267, no one fired a single crossbow bolt. Nothing to pull back, here. thank you. We march no further today, Lord. I need to recruit an assassin to get rid of these goddamn spies that keep going into my cities. Captain Paolo, Paolo, what do you want? Moreno Rossi. So he's got five crossbow militia, uh, four Italian militia, and one, sorry, one Italian militia and four Italian spear militia. This attacking army has two Giannese crossbow militia, two Italian spear militia, one Italian militia, one cavalry militia and one catapult. I have three catapults and a whole load more firepower than they do. Fairly even number of men as well. That's pretty interesting. So it's, he has about 70 more men than I do, roughly. Yeah, about 70, 60, 70 men more. It's fine. Don't mind if I win this. Milan is as good as mine. If they lose this, Moran is as good as mine. If they win this, eh, Milan's pretty weakened and we can just send our army from Genoa to attack them. No problem. For the moment, the fortune of battle, battle goes, goes our in our favour. Let's pray it good. remains as such. And we have an amazingly huge hill. So we have... Oh, this is a beautiful hill. I've never been more pleased to see a hill in all my times in playing Total War. Well, I have really, but I'm just exaggerating for this uh, particular occasion. Right, let's put these guys up here if we can. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Ah, there's a slight hill there. So we'll put our, what, yeah, we'll put our catapults on here if we can. Yeah, that'll do. Doesn't have to be perfect for them. Front. Put these guys here to protect our catapults. Not that they're going to need protecting, but a hey, can also use them as a backup line. General just at the back there. Cavalry on the flank. The enemy have brought up more men. They there hope they are, to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. And the enemy reinforcements are coming in from that side. Lovely. So. Let's change the angle of our troops here. So that we can... this. Well, I'll, just, I'll bring this unit in to fill in the gap here. And these guys have gold armor, so they've got the exact same armor as our silver Italian spear militia. Oh, really? I was going to say, our, catapult, our crossbows are in range, which is quite interesting. Moving our catapults a little bit to a better angle. So, what are we waiting on the enemy to make a move up to us then? Is that what we're doing here? Very well then. I guess this is what we're doing. Slightly skew if shaped army here, but hey. As long as we can keep our flank protected by this hill, we should be okay. And they can't get up there. So they have to come all the way around here, so we can just pepper them with crossbow bolts. Not sure not sure what this crossbow unit's doing. too close there to my crossbows. So when my crossbows get shot at, they'll get injured pretty quickly. What are they doing? Why aren't they attacking? Oh, 
Oh, this is stupid. Fine, I'll make the first move. Using catapults. Because I am not stupid, my friend. I will use these catapults. Annoyingly, all their troops are down in the long grass, so they're pretty safe. Wow, this hill is incredibly awkward to manoeuvre catapults on. If only there was like an attack ground button. Why are you still moving? Just fire there, jeez. Let's move our men down just to give them a bit of cover. Why does it tell me that they can shoot, but apparently they can't? What the hell? What's going on? You've got to be kidding me. I have to get this close? Really? Now why can't you shoot them? I've lost a catapult already, really. This is how stupid the AI can be in this game. Ah. <sighs> Frustrating. <laughs> eh? Switch to fire ammunition. <laughs> Direct hit. Beautiful job, guys. Beautiful. And... Oh, so close. So close to another direct hit. But we are hitting a lot of troops because they got caught on fire there. So, that's good. Oh, there they are. Look at that. There's the army. So 
So let's see, let's move these guys down here. Crossbows move back. Okay, so. And then we'll just pull them back here. Keep our crew out of the way. And it ensures that our crossbows and our infantry do all the fighting. It makes, means that we also have our catapults for later on. Okay, so these crossbow militia units are pretty much screwed. These crossbows, shoot them. Move our Frankish Knights down to the left. Go, go, go. Clash. So, let's see. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will Those be ours. These guys are going to lose. Our men are under attack. We need to act. As long as we're getting some shots on these guys, I don't mind. Whoa! They've taken over my catapult! The cheeky bastards! The cheeky little fuckers! Let's push forward. Crossbows. Our men are under attack. We must act now. All right. Mercenary nice down the flank. General, I'm going to bring him down as well. Let's bring these two units down here. Okay, let's have a look. These guys are surviving. They're holding the ground. Our men are under attack. We must act now. Hit that general. Hit the general. Charge! Crash, 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 crash. Lovely. Alright, bodyguard move on to help our mercenary knights. They are getting slaughtered by the general. Uh, 
This is just a front line slaughter. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Let's move our crossbows forward a bit. Killed off pretty much one of their generals. Just pulling our general away from these spearmen here. We lost too many mercenary knights there. That was a bad attack. Probably the line is breaking. So everyone just surge forward, go. Only half the enemy force remains. I don't care what these guys do as long as they just surge forward. Almighty, our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Bring our general around. Run after them. Just run them. Oh, there goes the enemy general. Got a crossbows to hold fire as well. Moreno Rossi is down. Held the hill. Start charging down these guys. Prisoners. Awesome. Right, quickly before they escape. The enemy flees the gang. Run down those worthless peasants! Awesome. Right. Uh, who is left? A few units here. Many men left. So let's bring all our troops back to the hill. Ha! <laughs> Slaughtered. Cheeky buggers stole my catapult. Didn't lose any halberd militia. I'm quite impressed about that. Yeah, we lost a lot of mercenary knights there. It's a bit of a shame, but I'm pretty sure we could probably retrain those. Ah, that'll do. Heroic victory. 229 men lost for 1,252 and 607 people almost killed. Uh, 288, that's the Pavish Crossbow Militia Unit. That's the winner. Okay, uh, ransom. Rejected. Well, there goes the Milan garrison.
So the city is now ours. Should be now ours. Occupy or sack. We're going to sack that. We march through your enemy streets. Victory! So the whole of Italy, except for the Papal State provinces, is now ours. The whole of Northern Italy is secured. Um, pretty much, we're in a good position. We're in a really good position. So I don't think we're going to have too many problems yet. It's too early to tell, I would say, but I think we're going to be okay for a moment. Touch wood. Uh, confident attack, confident defender, social drinker. Let's get a new one. Cease hostilities with Milan. We have the gen new general in Naples, so let's see. Let's send him to Venice. We can march no further today. I will not attack Milan anymore. I will agree to that, Pope. So it'll be them who attacks me, if anything. Put a gunsmith in Genoa, that's our most advanced. Put it in the front city. Take the settlement of Milan with two and a half flore thousand florins. Lovely. Genoa will upgrade later. The merchant and priest have both died, that's fine. This Orcs. army can join them. Command me. Actually, we'll send them back to Genoa, it doesn't really matter. Milan uh, will retrain these guys. And we'll also build a gunsmith. Okay. Good, good, good. In a strong position. Where to, sire? Ah, there's Toulouse. It's just, it, is a, it is a fortress. That's good. Send our spy back to Bern, so we can see what's going on there. Right, one, two, one, two, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. That'll do for the moment. Add some more to the production queue in the next turn. Oh, hello, Byzantines. You sent a large Name force. Yes, you did. Yes. As my lord wills, we march to battle. Mostly peasants or militia, so I'm not too worried about that. So we'll keep the siege going. Recruit an assassin, plus a priest. Okay, I think we're good. Still making quite a lot of money. Farming's increased as well, which is good. Hmm, a ceasefire, eh? Uh. Hmm. It would give me time to focus on other problems like the Byzantines. And we can't attack the Milanese for the while for a while. They have to attack us. So this actually might be quite beneficial in the long run. In the short run, we could take a load of provinces belonging to the Holy Roman, Holy Roman Empire, but there's no guarantee that no one else will attack us immediately after we defeat them. Um, also, they're a buffer against the Milanese, because, well, in the north, they're a buffer against the Milanese, so 
Oh, they're allies of Milan. Well, still. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll accept it for the work for the moment. Get some trade rights going as well. Uh, map information as well. Just rejected. They demand map information. Screw that. Okay. This might also get us... Well, they are excommunicated, but... You know, no longer being at war with a Catholic nation. Might get us some... Um, get us some popularity with the Pope as well. They might be excommunicated, but they're still Catholic. So... You know, you know, it's it, it's an awkward situation, but I'm pretty sure having a ceasefire now will benefit us in the long run. Pretty sure. Um, 100. They're going to ask for a ceasefire. If they are. That'll be even better. That gives us even more of a of a chance to head east. I speak Brilliant. Excellent. Lord Let's do it. Excellent. Excellent. What else would you suggest? It seems we have goodbye, Lord. It has been a pleasure. So we can send our army that we're building in Palermo, uh, Palermo, Palermo, and send it east against the Byzantines, against the castle. Greetings, noble lord. Hmm. I have something yes, to discuss. Yes, they are no longer at war with the papal states, so that's acceptable. For our peoples. Farewell. God, all these people want to talk to me now. They're afraid of me. I've defeated the Venetians. I've nearly... W I've all but wiped out the Holy Roman Empire and I've taken Milan. So I'm not surprised if they are, sp if they are scared of me. I'm not saying they are. They could be. Uh, let's get another general. We've got plenty of money coming in. Assassination mission. We need to assassinate that French dude. Okay. Doubt we can do it, but hey, why not? Let's have a let's give it a go. Not it's been a long time since I last had an assassination mission. Uh, Naples, Naples. What should we build? What should we build? Gunsmith. Ballister towers. Always defense for me first. That's what I like to do is defense. And Erecleon. Truce, truce, allies. Lovely. Sicily promoted, Holy Roman Empire, Sis uh, priest died, Papal State so so, marriage. Yes, it's great. Whoa, I have dropped rapidly. Yeesh. Uh, let's start building some cathedrals. That should make the Pope a little happier. Come face me. Attack those rebels in a second. I need to get rid of some of these generals. Well, I need to send some of these generals. Yes. Eastwards. Yes, my lord. So I'm actually gonna actually I might get. Uh, no, I'm not gonna get in cavalry. Plenty of generals to spare, so. We'll send a couple of generals with this, <coughs> excuse me, with this one army, and attack a castle, and take it. So I'll build a triple shay. And a lot of you have been asking if I'm going to attack northern Africa, you know, conquer some places around here. I will eventually. For the time being, I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't need to do that at the moment. I'm focusing in Europe for the time being and sort of the east as well uh, but I will eventually go ahead and take or yes. attack the uh, northern Africa basically yes, so you have to be a bit patient can't just go ahead and rush off and 
do all kinds of things. And yes, I'll get rid of those rebels as well. I know they're on a road before anyone says anything in the comments. I know they are on a road. I will deal with them in moment in you know in due time. Don't worry about it. Alright, so let's get rid of these mercenaries. I don't need them. We'll get rid of these catapults yes. as well. I don't need them. Saves us a little bit of cash. Uh, no more that's fine. Your sword. I that's will fine. I'll attack your them soon. soon I want to ensure I've got a load of things going on at the one time. got to do as well. 45 regions including Jerusalem. We have 17. We have 118 turns remaining. Well, we're going to have to go to war with Egypt or whoever owns Jerusalem at some point. It's going to have to be done. I wouldn't be surprised if the Pope calls a crusade sometime soon. A spy better have died. Died at sea. Mm. There we go. We're going back up again. We're going back up in the Pope's favour. That's fine. That's good. That's good. Yes. Oh, yes, I just have a fleet sitting here. Back you go. Now, my lord. Yes. And you guys can go Full over there. Sail. I didn't even realise I still had a spare fleet there. Well, what do you know? Orders. Command me. Orders. Yes. Okay, what's the what are the people here unhappy about? There's unrest, well, no shit. Distance of capital is a bit of a problem. Squalor, fifty five percent. Religious unrest, twenty percent. This is from the capital up here as far as far north as Vienna is still at twenty percent. How are these guys? Thirty percent. It's not <coughs> excuse me, it's not actually that far. It's not actually that big of a loss as well, not as big as I was expecting it to be. Okay, so that is Polish, that's fine. And that is Holy Roman Empire because I can tell by the border. So that's that's okay. We confirmed that. Um Who is to disappear today? The problem. What is the name? If it were possible, I would. Who is to disappear today? I can't assassinate the guy there. Oh look, there's a little crosses thing. Awesome. Stopping here for the night. Orders? Last turn. Whoa, those troops just sort of disbanded quite a bit. They've headed north, look at that. Let's just get rid of these rebels. Yes, Closing for battle. 200 foot, not even worth it. Get rid of them. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Yes, Lord. Closing for battle. Them as well. There's two sets of rebels removed. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. My lord. Okay. Your Majesty. And I think we're about done. Right. Let's launch this Order. attack. As my lord wills, we march to battle. Okay. So 
going to save it here. In the next episode, we will attack Corinth, and we will also get rid of those rebels on um, on this island here at er um, Iraklion. So we'll get rid of these rebels after we've taken Corinth. And uh, yeah, so we're doing pretty well. We should be able to take Corinth. We've got our army building in Palamo, which we'll send against the Byzantines as well. So I think we're pretty safe. I mean, actually, I might send them over here. There's a castle here, Nicosia. Um, so I might send them there and take this island here. That gives us a good, strong foothold right near Jerusalem as well. So we can take Jerusalem eventually as well. So, um, yeah, I think things are going to go well. So thanks very much for watching and join me in the next episode.